Hi, this is Brandon from Watches on You. Today, we're taking a look at the Breguet La Musicale reference 7800. And we're here at the Breguet Boutique on Fifth Avenue in New York City taking a look at this piece. We want to give a quick thank you to the entire staff at Breguet for letting us review these pieces. And you'll be seeing in the coming weeks many Breguet reviews um, of very interesting Breguets. We didn't just do the lower, uh, the kind of entry level pieces. We did very high end complicated pieces and we're very excited that we were able to do that. And kind of getting in that theme of complicated pieces, this is the Breguet La Musicale. I've been waiting about three years to be able to review this watch in person as it is. It has one of the coolest complications I've ever seen on a watch. So I will get right into the individual details of this piece right here. And now we'll go over just kind of the case. So this watch has a quite large 48 millimeter case. And you know, I tend to like watches that stick to about 40 millimeters, but I will make a big exception for this piece uh, given its very interesting complication. What is that complication, you may ask? It actually is capable of playing music on demand or as an alarm. Uh, and this particular model plays box La Badinerie. And there is an, another model, and the way you distinguish between the two models is actually the dial. So the pattern of guillotet on the dial looks a little bit different depending on whether it plays Box La Badinerie or Rossini's The Thieving Magpie. Um, and again, this is the Bach version. I will play the alarm for you um, shortly. And it comes with this very large box that is an instrument in and of itself. It looks very, very cool, but you'll see that coming uh, shortly. But again, just moving over the case, it has a completely polished rose gold case, and it does not have an exhibition case back, but it does, on the case back you can see, there's actually these holes, and that leads to a membrane that regulates the sound for the alarm, because again, this is a musical piece, it needs to um, project that sound in an, eff in an effective way. And without the, the box, it tends to be a little bit quiet, but when you use the box, you can really hear the individual notes of the Labetonary or the um, Rossini piece. And this watch, again, the finishing is spectacular. The dial is classic Breguet. You have beautiful Breguet hands, and again, that beautiful guillotet pattern on the dial. And these, you see the various crowns here. So the top crown here is for setting the time, and it has two separate barrels. It has a 55 hour power reserve, which is fantastic. I mean, the power reserve on a watch like this isn't really that important, frankly, because if you buy this, chances are you have a watch winder. I mean, if we're honest, but yeah, so the top crown here is for winding the main um, watch component, and the bottom crown is for setting the alarm. The upper pusher here is for an on-demand. Um, it plays the music on-demand, so you don't have to wait until the alarm is triggered. And then the bottom pusher is to turn the alarm on and off. And you can see there's an indicator here for whether or not the alarm is on or off. And this power reserve indicator is actually for the alarm itself. It takes a separate barrel for that, um, just because it takes so much power to actually play the musical piece. So I will demonstrate that piece right now. So in summary, this is a very special piece from Breguet, and again, that beautiful music that it plays, it makes it so unique. I mean, there are no other pieces that, um, time pieces from any brand that I know of that are quite like this. This watch retails for around 90,000 US dollars, and I mean, in 50 years, this watch is gonna be probably above that, frankly. It's that significant to me, and I, I really love that complication. And the finishing, again, is totally spectacular. You have the be beautiful musical notes on the side. It does not actually go along with Breguet's uh, coin edging, but again, it's to facilitate those beautiful musical notes. So now I'll end this with a brief wrist shot. And this watch, again, it's 48 millimeters, so that's quite large on most, would look quite large on most people's wrists, but I will totally forgive them as it has that unique complication. So, as I have about a 6.5 inch wrist um, in circumference just for uh, reference, and I think it looks fine. I mean, it would look good on most people's wrist, and especially once you demonstrate that uh, the it playing the music. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe and share. Thank you.